Hello, Camila. Hi. Hi. So do you want to talk to me a little bit about how was your magic experience? So when we first started, we had a little bit of technical difficulties with laptops and all this stuff. So we were kind of behind, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I got to learn JavaScript, which was a little bit hard, but, you know, I got there. Yeah. We got to learn um, how to, like, do random suggestions while clicking the button, yes. and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, we worked through those technical challenges, yeah. too, yeah? Mm -hmm. We used other resources that we could in the middle, in the midst of all those yeah. technical challenges. Awesome, awesome. So can you describe your project a little bit for us, maybe combining the two passions that you have? So um, my website is basically climate change and it has its web development and I wanted to do it because some people you know don't really care about climate change while well, climate change is an important thing right now and it's you know changing animals lives and it one day a bunch of animals are gonna go extinct and that's really sad too. yeah there's a lot to learn about mm -hmm. climate change what would you say when, with some of your research that you did about climate change, what was one thing that maybe surprised you or that you wish people knew more about, maybe in some of the research that you did? Um, so what really surprised me was the temperature-like anomaly. Mm. And from 1900 to um, 2018, mm. when it first started, everything was mostly blue, which is cold. And then once you get further into the like years until 2018, there was just like three spots of blue and everything was red. So it really got warm, even though you may not notice that it's getting warm maybe right now it's like super cold and rainy but in reality like the world is like warm warming up more and more yeah so wasn't there like a visualization yeah. on like there nasa was, like, that kind of showed it us was that. like a world and then there's like a little button and then you mm -hmm. get to swipe it and then yeah. it changes everything yeah and we used can you talk to me a little bit about how we used their the data from nasa actually into our chart um what did we use to make the chart we used a uh, variable chartist. Oh, we used chartist JS, and it showed a bunch of like information. And then we just kind of copied and pasted. Yeah, some it's a stuff, JavaScript and then library, we changed right? It. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Very cool. Um, what would you say was um, maybe your favorite part about your project? Um, I think my favorite part about the project was um, doing the button. Mm because you got to like it's a button and then it's not just a simple button where it takes you to another part it tells you a bunch of suggestions mm -hmm. and yeah. it's awesome very cool thank you so much i really appreciate it camila